Have you ever been frustrated with the entire online marketing journey and wondered if people are really even making any money? I don't know if you've wondered about whether there is actually success at the end of this rainbow for you to bootstrap yourself up from nothing and make millions or just have freedom. Well, I'm gonna tell you a few amazing stories of normal people today. Some of these people I've actually met and who have, were able to take themselves from nothing and make millions of dollars online. And some of these stories are about people who did it for good, and some of them are stories about people who did it for ill reasons. But either way, they're amazing stories, they're fantastic. I hope you enjoy them. So online marketing is a really hard journey. I remember when I started, I thought, you know, oh, I see these people making lots of money, but can I really do it? Wondered, are these people really real? Now, the stories I'm gonna tell you, these are people who have been written about. I'll post links to these people, or I'll have my assistants, if they actually post the links this time, to their stories in the description of this video. Now, I will be talking about Carlos Cruz, kid from Guatemala. I'll be talking about Robert Grin, a guy from Poland. I'll be talking about Steve Weiss, as well as myself. These are all people who have bootstrapped ourselves. I'll also tell you the stories of two anti-heroes, Jesse Wilms and Ross Ulbricht, who sort of went to the dark side. Their stories are pretty fantastic and pretty well documented, but interesting nonetheless. But the point of these stories I'm about to tell you is to help you understand this is a real industry. There are people out there making millions or tens of millions, even hundreds of millions of dollars running their own businesses without any strings attached to any investors or anything like that. They've built themselves up from nothing, been able to create amazing business. Now, the first story I'm gonna tell you is of Carlos Cruz. He's uh, one of my best friends and he's an affiliate marketer that's currently doing about $2 million per month. You probably won't see his name in the press or you know, in the news. I did find a story about him that I will have my assistants post a link to. He started affiliate marketing back when he was 18. He was in Guatemala. He didn't speak much English and he wanted badly to be successful. He was an affiliate marketer. What he had done was he had just simply Googled one day how to make money online. That's how it started for him. And he went through a few things that didn't work, that didn't make him any money, that he says were scams. But he bought a few ebooks and he wasted some of his, the little money he had, but he kept taking action. He, I guess he got involved in a MLM, like a network marketing company. He was trying to sell his family and his friends just to make some money. And everybody thought he was a weirdo, they didn't accept him, and all he wanted to do was become successful really badly. I think it was when he was 18, you know, he'd started posting these little ads on Google and he started making his first money online. But what was funny was so he showed it off to all of his family, hoping they'd be proud of him. But the result he was actually met with was that he's crazy and that it's not real money. That would put other people down. It made him more, you know, even fight harder to make more money and make that more money real. Now, what I really like about his story is the moment he decided to really go all in was he was sitting in college and the windows along the side of the classroom, they faced the faculty parking lot and he was bored by college. He was daydreaming. He was just looking out the window and he started looking at the actual cars in the parking lot and what he noticed was they were all cheap cars. They were Toyotas, Hondas, etc. And he thought to himself, he said, if I want to make money, why am I learning from people who drive Toyotas or Hondas? And he ruminated on that for a little bit. And what he did, the day he quit college, he literally, that day, he just stood up and he just walked out. And he didn't give any explanation. And he said, that was it. He made his decision right there. When he put those two and two together, he said, these are not the people I should be learning from. I need to go find some successful people to learn from. And what he did was he actually emailed the guy who he had bought this ebook from and asked him, he said, can I move to Chicago where you live and do whatever you want? I'll do it for free. I just need food. He was making a little bit of money online at the time. He said, I'll pay for my own place. I'll pay for my own stuff. I just want you to tell me what to do. 
he moved out to Chicago. He didn't live with the guy. The guy just said, just do the same stuff I'm doing in my ebook and do these things. Didn't have very much direction, but he took a chance and he moved to America. And by the time he was 21, he was a millionaire. He was living in the Hollywood Hills. He was living with other young 20 something year old millionaires day traders and club promoters and whatnot. He became a DJ as well, just for fun. And currently he's running a big business. He has over 30 employees. He does $2 million a month and is very successful. So that's Carlos's story. So the next story is I'm gonna tell a little bit faster. And you can look up the articles which the stories are written in, but you can look up my story for instance. It's written about in Forbes. I won't go on about that, you've met me, but basically, I started marketing young. I was a medical guinea pig. I was one of those people that was a test subject for Merck, Pfizer, Johnson & Johnson. I did that to try to fund my internet business, which I was trying to make work. I did over 20 jobs before the age of 21. So I've done it all and you know I wanted to make this work desperately. I didn't have friends for years. I didn't have girlfriends for years. I didn't go out to bars. I didn't socialize for years. I sacrificed a lot to make stuff happen early. I'm not naturally talented in anything other than I'd say running or soccer. Now, Robert Grin is another amazing story. He runs a company that has a valuation of a billion dollars. He's from Poland and he also bootstrapped himself. All of these stories, nobody here came from money or had money invested in their companies. They all bootstrapped themselves to the top. Robert Grin has an amazing, just the fact that he was able to create one of the largest companies in Poland right now. Um, he started with affiliate marketing as well and he turned it into a software company and became very successful. Now the two anti-hero stories are actually the most interesting because anti-heroes are always just the most fascinating people. And those stories are of uh, Jesse Wilms, who made hundreds of millions of dollars selling health supplements online. This is in the 2000s. He started making money when he was 13 years old, selling fake copies of Windows software. And uh, he, he moved from scam to scam, but he didn't get caught by the government until he had made hundreds of millions of dollars. He had private jets and he was still only the age of 25. Really interesting story. He's called the Dark Lord of the Internet. You can look up his story. I'm, I'm gonna post a link in the description and his story is fascinating. Or you can just Google Dark Lord of the Internet. It's insane. The final story I'll tell you about is actually probably the most fantastic and it's of Ross Ulbricht, also called Dread Pirate Roberts, was his internet pseudonym and he made over 1.2 billion dollars on the internet. I believe over 100 million dollars personally in commissions. He's responsible for basically ordering assassinations on people and he ran the biggest online illegal drug selling emporium around. He used Bitcoin. It was one of the first marketplaces where you could use Bitcoin to buy and sell products. He's a programmer by trade but he created a drug market and it was completely anonymous. The way he was able to create the organization and create the ability to do this was actually a work of art. It took years for the government to crack down on him and they were trying desperately for years to find a way to get this guy who's completely anonymous using completely anonymous currency. It's a crazy story. His market was called the Silk Road, um, named after obviously the real Silk Road. And there's an article on him on Wired at one point, he actually started ordering assassinations of people who were trying to find him out or who were investigating him. He ordered anonymous assassinations from the Hells Angels and paying for these assassinations in Bitcoin. I don't recommend you go to the dark side of the internet, but some of these stories, I do recommend you read these two stories because they're very fascinating and interesting people who populate this area. I hope you found these stories interesting. If you want to see more about Carlos Cruz, for instance, I do have some videos with him on my channel. Just make sure you subscribe and you can go to my homepage. There is a playlist called The Art of Copywriting where Carlos talks about how to use ads to persuade people to do what he wants. Now, if you're interested in seeing more videos about how you can actually create success online, just make sure you subscribe. I come out with a daily video and hit that notification icon.
time. Also, and if you enjoyed the stories that I told about successful internet marketers who came from nothing and who made a lot of money, leave a comment. This isn't my typical video format, but I would like to know from your perspective if you enjoyed it. Just let me know and I can show more of this or I can do some mixture where I'll put more stories within my, the rest of my videos. Look forward to seeing you soon in my next videos and here's to your success.